Hola clase, bienvenido a la clase de español. Hi everyone, welcome to Spanish class this week. This is your first activity that you should do and it's your speaking task. I mentioned last week we were going to do some speaking, so I'm going to talk you through it, what you need to do, um, and then you can have a go. Okay, so we have this diagram here of a bedroom. We saw this last week when we were looking at all the different things that we can have in our bedroom. What I want you to do is use the table on the next slide to record sentences using prepositions to describe where something is in relation to something else. So remember last week we said a preposition is a word that tells us where something is. I'm working on my laptop. My laptop is on the table. The word on is the preposition. It tells me where the laptop is. So more able students, more confident students, you can have a go at making really long sentences using two or more prepositions. So let me show you an example. I have a sentence written down here. It's quite long. Let's just break it down bit by bit and talk you through how I how I created this sentence. So the first thing we have is la cama. La cama, that's the bed. Well, here's the bed. Okay. Then I have the word esta. We know from our, our lesson last week that esta means it is, but where something is. So la cama está, the bed is. A la derecha de, to the right of, that's the preposition, la mesa, the table. So if we come and take a look at the picture, <clears throat> if you were sitting in this yellow chair here, this silla amarilla, the, the bed would be to the right of the table. So that's the sentence I've made. La cama, the bed, esta, is, a la derecha de, to the right of, la mesa, the table. That is a perfectly good sentence, and if you wanted to stop there, you absolutely could, okay? But let's say that you want to show off, you want to, to test your confidence, you want me to see how good your Spanish is, you can add a bit more. So... Let's say that I also wanted to talk about where the bed is in relation to the shelf. Well, it's below the shelf, okay? So I would add the word and, e. Then I need the word for below, debajo de. There's that preposition again. It tells us where the bed is in relation to the shelf, la estantería. So now the whole sentence reads, la cama está a la derecha de la mesa y debajo de la estantería. The bed is to the right of the table and under the shelf. So what is this going to look like in practice? Let me show you. Here's the next slide. Now on the left side, we have all the words for all the things that you could find in a bedroom and they're in Spanish and English so that you can easily figure out what something is just by reading the Spanish word and then the English translation. To the right, we have all the words for the prepositions. So we have encima de, above, or on. You could also use it to mean on. A la derecha de, to the right of. A la izquierda de, to the left of. Debajo de, below or under. Delante de, in front of detrás de, behind, and entre y, between something and something else. At the top, we have a guide for you to follow to form your sentence, and then I have an example below at the bottom, and it disappeared under my, my gray box. So let's make a sentence. So let's say that I want to say the lamp is on the table. Here's the lamp. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to find the word for lamp. La lampara. Then I need the word for is, está, and then I need the word for on, encima de, and then I need the word for table, la mesa. La lámpara está encima de la mesa. Now, how am I going to remember that? Well, I've popped you in a little slide here where you can write your sentences and practice saying them before you make your recording. I would like you to do between three and five sentences. So I think if I if I turn this off so I can type, my recording is going to stop. So let's just.